Hey you guys, it's Chloe and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super duper cute desk for your dolls for my hashtag back to school with AG series. This is absolutely adorable and I'm so excited to share it with you so let's go ahead and get started. So here is what you will need. The first thing is a chair. I got this one at Goodwill. You can basically use any chair because this little desk part will be removable. I also got some clay. You can use, you know, bakeable, whatever. Scissors and some glue. A cardboard box, some leftover cardboard, and some contact paper. I actually already used mine before I filmed this bit, so yeah. I just have some wood contact paper, but you can also use scrapbooking paper. And then I have this silver duct tape, but you can use any kind of duct tape you want. So I am going to get started by taking out my air dry clay. You can use any kind of clay if you want to use, like, you know, the baking kind. I'm not that talented, so I just have air dry clay. And I am just rolling it out, basically, and I'm just, this, yeah, I'm just rolling it out. And I'm kind of curving it up, so, yeah, you can pretty much see what I'm doing. And I'm also kind of putting it on the chair. You can't really see this bit, sorry, but just to kind of see how the mold should be. And then I'm taking some more clay just to kind of get it to support it the way I need it to be. So now I'm letting the clay out to dry and I'm taking my cardboard box, this is a cardboard box from our generation, and I'm just going to be cutting two rectangles out of this. Now I'm cutting two because this isn't like the sturdiest type of cardboard. If you have better, more thick cardboard then you don't have to make two, but because mine is kind of flimsy I decided to go ahead and make two. And then I glued them together. So now I'm covering the little cardboard thing into a, I'm covering it with contact paper. I got this at the dollar store. It's just like a wood contact paper. Contact paper is basically like a giant sticker. You can also just use scrapbooking paper, but this is just what I had. And you don't even have to use one that's wood. You can use whatever you want. You don't even have to cover it. It's totally up to you, but I like the way the contact paper looks. And then I am cutting, I'm just trimming it off a little bit, but then I'm making little tabs in the contact paper by cutting at the corners so I can fold it over. Now, um, you really don't want to get any like bubbles or anything on the front, but if you get some while you're folding it over, it doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see the back, so yeah. So now we're on to the last step, which is duct taping it, and fun fact, mine actually, my little clay bit actually broke in half because I accidentally bumped the table and it fell off. So I am duct taping mine a little bit more. I'm not a duct tape master <laughs> or anything, so this definitely doesn't look the prettiest, but if you actually know what you're doing with duct tape, it'll definitely look better. Um, so I'm just covering it in duct tape to kind of give it like that silvery, metallic-y look, like, so it looks like metal. And then I'm also just duct taping it on to the bottom so it's removable so you can use any kind of chair and then you can just take the duct tape off and it's a chair again. I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's perfect to put on all those school supplies we'll be making throughout the next couple weeks and I will see you guys on Friday for another hashtag back to school with AG video. Thanks for watching. Bye!